What's up, family? There's the day when it comes that you either gonna accept truth or you don't. You're gonna sit down and be treated like a stepchild or you're gonna be treated like you are the chosen. You either gonna continue on an abusive relationship or you're gonna walk into the land of peace. You're either gonna continue to walk in a lie or you wanna walk into truth. This small clip right here is part of a document that I will put the link in. I challenge and I motivate, encourage you to watch that in its entirety so you can unravel the lies that has been told to you that you are nothing, that you are a waste. Many are walking around, why is this happening to us? Why are we all across the world being mistreated? Because we are the chosen ones. If you cannot realize that you are the chosen one, continue on in your life. But like I told you, when I woke up, or the spirit woke me up and showed me, everything that has been given to me has been in abundance. A spirit of peace. My mind is at peace. My heart is at peace. When the spirit told me to get out of America, I knew, I knew there was something special. But they're trying to convince you that you are something special. The brothers and sisters in America, you are chosen. Some of you all in the diaspora, you are chosen. But I guess you're not chosen if you can't take heed to hear, come home. Because then the, the voice is not speaking to you. But only to those who hear the voice. Because the spirit says, my sheep hears my voice. So if you don't hear the voice, hear the voice, this doesn't even apply to you. You're not the chosen. <laughs> Unless you find out that maybe you're standing in a place of deafness then your ears could be open if you go to Yahshua. Listen for the voice. For your, your ears have been deafened for so long, you don't know what to hear. I have no reason to try to come at you with any foolishness, any garbage. But you tell me what you think after watching evidence in hand. Not me saying this, white people are saying this. Arabs are saying this. People from other continents are saying this. You are the chosen. Telling you from their region they come from, from their studies, from their understanding, there ain't a doubt in the world that we've been bamboozled and fooled into believing that scripture, the scrolls, the old writings, the ancient writings were for them. When it's not, it was always about us. Think about it, why your folks were sold into slavery. Why would Africans get rid of you? sell you over into the Europeans. What was it so bad that you were, or our ancestors were, they want to get rid of us. It's hard to fathom. I was there in Ghana when the man stood there. Watch my video, I posted the video right there in the slave dungeons. And he came out of his mouth and said, yes, the Africans sold. Africans, but who are you? You're the chosen. And if that don't motivate you and get you excited and stirred up and happy and shouting for joy, I don't know what else will be. But I'm gonna say this in closing. Even if you don't believe this applies to you, take this video and pass it to somebody else. 
you have never heard me say put a thumbs up on my videos. I'm saying give a thumbs up so this can reach to the top of recommendations to other people and share this video. Subscribe to this channel if you want more information of my travels in Africa and the information I'm sharing. But hit the bell so you get the notifications. A wise man knows when he's confronted with truth because it leaves him speechless. Because a wise man knows a lot of things. But when struck being speechless, he's embarked on something new or maybe in awe. You may be at that point right now, shocked to just hear this for the first time. But I tell you, this ain't no hoax. This ain't no joke. And me being 54 years old, I ain't no foolish man to carry information that I know that may not be true to pass on to my people. So I challenge each and every one of you all to look within. Click on that link, get further information and see who you truly are. This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. Hi, Shalom Shalom from Israel. This is Ola, the daughter of Jethro. And I just heard that you black people that were stolen from Africa to America, that you don't know who you are. But you are the children of, of Yahweh, the children of Israel. And I'm telling you, you have to come back to your homeland, here to Zion, to Jerusalem. Hello, everybody. This video is to show you who the true Hebrews or Jews are. Your true Jews or your true Yehud are the so-called black person. I know the black people here are the true Hebrew Israelites. And I'd like to now bring up another interesting place that you find descendants of the Israelites, but may not necessarily be from the Ten Tribes, but will also play a role. And shouldn't be overlooked, it's a very serious scenario. This is in Africa. Africa has perhaps hundreds of millions of people with this identity right now of being from the people of Israel. When the Romans conquered Judea a few hundred years after that the tribes of Israel went into exile, perhaps millions of Judeans were sold into slavery, into Africa, into Rome, deep into Africa. And if you look now, you're seeing people who are most likely the descendants of those slaves. I just wanted to come to you to uh, impart some knowledge on to you about who the true biblical Hebrew Israelites are. Um, bloodline wise, they are the so called African Americans. The wisdom of Solomon in the Apocrypha in the fifth chapter talks about how Jacob, uh, how the heathen is going to be. Uh, amazed and confounded when they realized that that, that so-called black man is uh, that chosen line. Now, if I were to tell you that blacks, for as many centuries as whites have been uh, superior, if you want, in the Western world, that for just as many centuries blacks were superior, you'd probably find that hard to believe, and you wonder how such a fact could be hidden. And the answer is again collusion. The whites wouldn't want to admit such a thing because whites like to feel superior and like to think that their superiority is somehow permanent, decreed by God. As for blacks, if you look into the black civilizations that we're going to take a look at momentarily, you find something pretty interesting. You find that those civilizations actually arose as Jewish civilizations later to become. From West Africa, they have been taken as a slaves to America. Brothers and sisters, blacks of America, it's you. You are the true Hebrews. You are the true Hebrews from the Bible. America gonna be, do everything, gonna invest as much money as it has, and gonna fight as much wars as they, as they can, gonna invite as much weapons as they can, just to hide this away from you. 
gonna take Israel, gonna bring white people here, and to tell you these are the Jews, gonna do, gonna kill you, gonna kill Arabs, gonna mistreat white people like this guy, just to tell you this lie that that you are nobody and we are the Jews with all the history and so on. It has been deleted your history. You don't know who you are. Don't forget about it. This is why because America has been taking your history away, never to find out that it's all about you. I'm telling you this, please. I don't know. I don't ask you to come to Israel and to start a revolution. I'm just try, asking you to start thinking this way, to believe me a little bit, because I'm living in Israel and I'm part of this uh, injustice. I really believe that. People like me and you, we can we can bring the justice. Because as the Gentiles, we do need you. We need you to come and pray because you are our savior. You the one that was chosen by Yahweh to live in this land, not the Jewish people. It's you. You were stolen from Africa. They deceived you. They told you that you are slaves, but you actually the children of Israel. And it's time just to come, come back, come. For for your people, come back for us, come back for the whole Gentiles, because only you, only you gonna save us. So please come back to Zion.